Hi everyone, I'm Jesse David Eisenberg with the JDE Law Firm. I'm a business litigation attorney, which means that my business is to protect your business. Today I want to talk about getting the corporate name right. But first I want to say that if any questions about what you're going to hear today, you want to discuss your business, or you think you might have a potential case, all you have to do is go to JDE Law. Let me try that again. It's meetjde.nyc. M-E-E-T-J-D-E dot N-Y-C. And I can take a 10 minute phone or 30 minute in-person consultation. Now, I grew up a big, big friend, a big fan of the show Friends. And one of the more memorable scenes is when the character Ross is getting married to Emily, but he says the wrong name, Rachel. And a whole lot of mischief ensues over the next, I don't know, 10 episodes or so. In the lawsuit, it's very important that you say the right name as well. So if you're going to draft up a lease and you want to make sure any corporate name on the lease is exactly how they incorporate it, right? So if the name is ABC123, comma LLC, you want to make sure that you write down ABC123, comma LLC. You don't want to put ABC space 123, no comma, LLC, right? That would be a different corporation. So the reasons for this, when you get to or you have to do a lawsuit, you want to sue the right party so you can get a judgment against the right party, right? If you end up getting a judgment against ABC space 123, but the actual responsible party is ABC123, you're never going to get what you want. Now, also, when you're doing a lawsuit, it's very important you always check that you have the actual corporate name. So, for example, just did a lawsuit where I had to look up, the, I looked up the corporate name. Always look up the corporate name. That's, that's one of the first steps I ever do when I'm starting a lawsuit. And in this case, the corporation was written down as ABC123. But the actual name, when I looked it up, was ABC123S, comma, LLC. So there was a lot missing on the original lease. So that's why I was glad I looked it up, so I could sue it under the right name. But the number one thing you have to do when you're drafting up a lease, when you're drafting a contract, when you're making a lawsuit, is to make sure you sue on the right name. So always look up the right name. Go on uh, New York, it's really easy. You do a New York City, or I'm sorry, New York business search. It takes you to the Secretary of State website, and you can always look up the correct New York corporation name. All right, and a lot of states have this capability. You can easily look up Delaware as well. I think in Jersey you might have to fill something out. I'm not sure on that one. But always look up the correct corporate name. And I can't say that enough, okay? So get the corporate name right. It helps you in your contracts. It helps you in your leases. It helps you when you're doing litigation. Always make sure that your corporate name and the corporate name of whoever you want to do business with or sue is correct. All right, I hope this helps. And if it does, please like, subscribe, uh, depending on which medium you're watching this on, so you can get further information from me in the future. Uh, if you like what you hear today, you want to discuss your business, or you think you have a potential case, all you have to do is go to meetjde.nyc, M-E-E-T-J-D-E.nyc. Once again, I'm Jesse David Eisenberg with the JDE Law Firm. I'm a business litigation attorney, which means that my business is to protect your business. Thanks for watching and listening.